The Sixth Word From the Holy Gospel According to John There was a vessel filled with common wine. So they put a sponge soaked in wine on a sprig of hyssop and put it up to his mouth. When Jesus had taken the wine, he said, It is finished. And bowing his head, he handed over the Spirit. Okay, children, time is up. Finish or not finished? Pass your paper. Alam na alam niyo yan. Kaya naman, nung tinat sinasabi ng mga teachers, Naku, ma'am, please. Wait. Two minutes pa more. Two minutes pa more. Kulang pa. Kasi, alam natin, pag pinasa mo yung papel ng hindi ka patapos, tapos ka. Siguradong babagsak ka. Because, my dear sisters and brothers, we know that uh, the word tapos or katapusan rendered in, in or rather means in English or uh, it can mean in English loss or defeat. Kaya naman, pagka tayo ay nag estudyante pa, tatanungan tayo, may quiz daw tayo ngayon? Ang sagot eh, oo daw eh. Yari, tapos tayo dyan. Ibig sabihin, hindi ka handa, tapos ka dyan. Sa eleksyon, nagtatanungan, nakaw, kumusta naman ang bilangan? Ang laki ng lamang. Tapos na boxing. Ibig sabihin, talo na tayo. At sa love life, ganun din. Ayoko na. Tapos na tayo. Pinakamasakit marinig yung tapos na yun. Tapos na tayo. At talimbawa, merong isang mahal sa buhay na may sakit. Nasa ospital at kinakailangang operahan. At makikita mo ang doktor na lumabas sa operating room at sasabihin sa iyo, tapos na. Wala na siya. Ibig sabihin, nawalan ka na ng mahal sa buhay. Kaya nagtataka ko, ba't kayo tumatawa? <laughs> Ewan ko kung tatawa rin kayo, kung mismong doktor ninyo magsasabi ng ganyan, tapos ka na. But my dear sisters and brothers, yung tapos, it is done, finished or not finished, can also sound victorious and mean victory. Gano karaming mga estudyante dati pagkatapos kumuha ng bar exams at malalamang pasado sila, sisigaw sa wakas, natapos din. Ibig sabihin natapos ang paghihirap, nagbunga, panalo. O yung nanay, pagkatapos ng mga anak, salamat sa Diyos, nakaraos din. Ibig sabihin, nalampasan din, natapos din ang hirap. At yung mag-asawa, sasabihin nung lalaki sa kanyang misis, tapos na ang problema natin mahal. May pera na tayo. Ibig sabihin, may pambayad na sa utang. So ito po ang mga dalawang ibig sabihin ng tapos at katapusan. Maring ito ay talo o kawalan, at maaari din namang ito ay tagumpay or victory sa Ingles. Narinig natin na sinabi ni Jesus habang siya ay nakapako sa krus, it is finished. But we know that he means to say it is accomplished. It is completed. It is fulfilled. One who is defeated emits a sound of whimper, of a groan. But Jesus 
as the gospel tells us, with a loud cry. And there is a shout of victory. Sa wakas natapos din. It is finished. Ito pong pananalita ng ating Panginoon na sinabing naganap na. Alam natin, hindi ito salita ng pagkatalo. Ito ay salita ng tagumpay. Pero bago natin pag-usapan ng tagumpay, o kung saan nagtagumpay, this word of Jesus hints or expresses His commitment because we're talking, we're, I'm going to share with you in connection to this word of Jesus, two words, commitment and communion. Commitment sa Tagalog, maaaring sabihin ito ay pananagutan. Pananagutan sa kanyang gawain na tinanggap niya mula sa kanyang ama. Kaya, sa Ebanghelyo ni Mateo, chapter 5, verse 17, ito ang ating makikita o maririnig na sinasabi ni Jesus, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. And also, in the Gospel of John, chapter 4, verse 34, My food is to do the will of the one who sent me and to finish his work. Again, from John chapter 5, verse 19. Amen, amen, I say to you, a son cannot do anything on his own, but only what he sees his father is doing. For what he does, his son will do also. And again, from John 17, verse 4. I glorified you on earth by accomplishing the work that you gave me to do. That is why when we hear Jesus saying, it is finished, he means to say, I did exactly what I was asked to do. Nothing more, nothing less. I never disobeyed the Father who sent me. In other words, I never sinned against the Father. That is why even as we concede that uh, Jesus did not exact anything on his disciples that he did not exact on himself. Meaning to say, lahat ng tinuro niya at pinagagawa niya sa kanyang mga alagad ay ginawa rin niya. Palagay ko meron siyang isang itinuro na hindi niya nagawa at hindi niya ginawa. Ano yun? When he taught his disciples to pray the Our Father. Because Jesus could have not prayed, Father, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Because the Son of God never disobeyed the Father, never sinned against the Father, never wandered away from the mission that, G that the Father and trusted to him. He has always done only and always the will of the Father. That is his commitment. This is now we can say a very elusive word the word commitment, not too many people, especially among the young people, would come to terms with this word commitment. Even as uh, one of my friends in the parish, eh, taong simbahan na ito, but yung siya at yung kanyang boyfriend would always speak of their commitment to each other celebrating their so-called mansaris. So, sasabing 126 mansari namin. Yung mga matatanda rito, I, I, I mean, yung medyo nakakatanda sa kanila <laughs> ay ang sasabihin, anniversaries, taon-taon. Pero ngayon, para sa mga kabataan, mansaris. 
Soon it will be weeks, Saris. I am afraid very soon. Days, Saris. Ilang araw na lang tayong magsasama. That is why young people would say, love to say, walang forever. Young people ang sabi ko. Walang forever. Pero totoo naman yun. Wala naman talagang forever dito. Pero ang ibig sabihin nila, as far as relationships are concerned, hindi walang nagtatagal. So commitment for them is an elusive word. They cannot come to terms with commitment. That is why this word of Jesus, it is finished, indicates to us that this does not happen, the completion of the work does not happen just like that. At a flick of a finger, it happened after three years at least. At siguro pag-usapan natin kahit yung three years na lang ng kanyang public ministry. Ng kanyang araw-araw, minuminuto, sigusugundong pagsunod katapatan sa kalooban ng Ama. Until finally, sinabi niya, it is finished. That's commitment. Pero, commitment to what? What is the it? When Jesus says, it is finished, naganap na. Ano ang naganap? Naganap ang alin? Sabi ni sa John 3.16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son so that everyone who believes in Him might not perish but might have eternal life. The sending of the Son of Man, or the Son of God, is about salvation to, for us to have eternal life. Sa makatwid, ang naganap ay ang gawain ng pagliligtas, ang gawain ng kaligtasan. Anong ibig sabihin ng kaligtasan? ng pagliligtas, salvation. This means communion with God. Communion with God means sharing with God's li- sharing God's life. That is why it is said God shared in our humanity so that he could share with us his divinity. And the way to our communion with God is Jesus. That is why Jesus reminds all of us, no one comes to the Father except through me. And this communion can only happen, the final communion with the life of God can only happen when we are forgiven. And that exactly what happened when Jesus finally gave his life on the cross. Proving once and for all that he truly is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. That he is the ransom for many, the ransom for sinners. That is why His work is the atonement for our sins, break, broken down into words at, or into the word at one man, pagiging kaisa ng Diyos. Kaya naman sa kanyang pananalita bago niya harapin ang krus, sinabi niya sa ama, Amang banal, ingatan mo sila sa ngalan mo na ipinagkalob mo sa akin upang maging isa sila gaya natin. Ipinagkaloob ko naman sa kanila ang luwalhating ipinagkaloob mo sa akin upang maging isa sila gaya ng tayo ay iisa. Niloob ko na kung saan, kung nasaan ako'y makasama ko rin sila at makita nila ang kaluwalhatian kong kaloob mo sa akin. Jesus finished the work the work of finally bringing us into communion with the Father. Kaya manalangin tayo. Ama naming mapagmahal sa mahabang panahon, sa marami at ibang, iba't ibang pagkakataon, gumawa kami ng mga bagay na taliwas sa gusto mo. Sa gusto mo sanang gawin namin dahil iyon ang tama at mabuti para sa amin at sa aming kapwa. Pinili namin gawin ang gusto lang namin dahil iniisip namin mas kapaki-pakinabang yon sa amin. Mas madali at mas masarap, mas kasiyasiya. Sa kasamaang palad pagkatapos ng lahat, Saka namin nakikita na dahil sa makasarili naming intensyon at disposisyon, 
Nasira namin ang dating maayos at magandang relasyon namin sa aming mga magulang, mga kapatid, asawa, kaibigan, at iba, iba pang mga taong kilalan man namin o hindi. Hipuin mo kami, Panginoon, sa paniniwala namin. Bawat hipuin mo ay nababago, gumagaling, bumubuti at naliligtas. Tapos na, naganap na. Wala nang may dadagdag pa sa gawain mo ng pagliligtas. Pero nagpapatuloy pa rin itong mabisa at kapaki-pakinabang sa amin na buong pusong tumatanggap sa pagliligtas mong kaloob. Ama naming mapagmahal, gawin mo kaming instrumento ng pagkakasundo, pagpapatawad, at pagkakaisa. Itulot mong sundin naming lagi ang loob mo dito sa lupa kung paanong nasusunod din ito sa langit. Alang-alang kay Kristong nabubuhay at nagaharing kasama mo at ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. Oh